Hello friends, uh, my name is Raza Masu. Today we will discuss about a topic precedence diagramming method which is normally called as PDM as well. Precedence diagramming method uh, friend is basically a method to uh, describe links between the activities. Uh, we will see this topic in detail and uh, I will see I will say that uh, this topic needs some attention more attention because uh, uh, there are activities they, this this is a diagramming method in which we uh, we create links between the activities so that we can do the sequencing of activities that is called the precedence diagramming method PDM or normally it is called as activity on node as well AON so uh, there are two names of, uh, are popular for this this method precedence diagramming method PDM or uh, activity on node AON as well <coughs> We will see in the in this tutorial in detail that what is a PDM method and what is the purpose of uh, precedence diagramming method. Friend, uh, we will see this topic in terms of definition as per uh, PIMBOK, Project Management Body of Knowledge. And uh, we will see that what is the benefits of using the PDM or precedence diagramming method. Uh, I, will, I will try my level best to explain the topic in a very easy to understand manner so that if any student who is studying uh, project management in uh, university or uh, uh, going planning to give an exam of PMP so this tutorial or this video can be helpful for you also if you are a professional and working as a project manager somewhere in any uh, in any organization so this topic this video can be very helpful for you to understand the uh, links between to identify the links between the activities and make a schedule or project plan accordingly so friend uh, first of all I would request to please subscribe to my channel uh, and also click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's start precedence diagramming method first of all see it is diagramming method it is a diagramming method to make a to make a figure to make a diagram of activities when it's a strategy for scheduling activities in a project plan uh, for developing a project schedule network diagram that utilize nodes to represent activities and associate them with pro with pro with projectiles that illustrate the dependence dependencies friend uh, let me try to explain you in a more easy way uh, basically friend whenever uh, whenever we talk about project management and project uh, project schedule so make a uh, to uh, to make a project schedule first of all we have to identify the activities for example uh, if you are implementing e-commerce solution so what are the activities here you have uh, the activity is there like for example you have to uh, you have to make a database uh, you have to uh, do the graphic designing uh, you have to do the development uh, you have to do the testing uh, QA quality assurance and you have to then you have to do the production deployment so these are the very very high level activities so friend whenever we talk about project schedule we have first of all we have to identify the project activities what are the project activities like for example you have to do the software development software development uh, yeah for, for example you have to do the coding so these are the project activities first of all you have to identify the activities and then after identifying the activities you have to identify the dependencies between the activities for example if we talk about this figure activity a uh, c is dependent on activity a why once the activity a will finish then the c will start similarly a and b these are the parallel activities like the a and b are not dependent on each other like a can uh, continue independently and b can continue independently Similarly, D, activity D, is dependent on A and B. 
once the a will finish and once the b will finish then the d will start like for example if only a will finish and b is still continuing so we cannot start d d will start when the a and b both will finish activity e and c both are independent to each other and they are parallel they are not dependent on each other c and e e is dependent on d like d when once the d will finish only then the e will start so e is dependent on d okay are you getting my point so these are the activities uh, which you have to identify and then you have to identify the dependencies between the activities let me give an example for example uh, we can uh, get the approval or uh, sign off approval sign off on the scope of work once the once the scope of work has been finished so for example if we have two activities uh, scope of work finalize the preparation of a scope of work and then uh, then the next activity is sign off on scope of work so scope of sign off of scope of work is dependent on preparation of a scope of work because once the preparation of a scope of work finish only then we can uh, start the sign off activity are you getting my point production deployment is dependent on uh, on the testing activity once the testing activity finish completed only then we start the production deployment are you getting my point these are the uh, these are the concepts of uh, similarly programming coding and graphic designing both these two activities are not depend directly dependent on each other like graphic designing can be done in parallel and uh, the, uh, the programming activity can also be done in parallel so this is called the concept of precedence diagramming ma precedence diagramming method in which we this is called the concept to make the schedule uh, first of all we have to identify the activities then we have to identify the dependencies among the acti activities and then we sequence the activities to make the schedule uh, the steps to create precedence diagram is that ensure that you have a whiteboard or flip chart papers to draw your plan put the uh, top deliverable from your work breakdown structure work breakdown structure means friend uh, you can say you are divide the work and identify the activities until you reach some level at which you can uh, quantify your work in terms of cost and uh, time on the right hand side of the board of paper or paper take each of the lowest level and post it from your break breakdown structure and arrange them in the order in which they need to happen work from the left until you have the dependencies between the tasks and you have a sequence of functions running from left to right yeah friend it was just a definition um, in simple way just uh, identify the activities uh, what are the activities you have to do then identify the dependencies among the activities like dependency means like for example what are the dependency of activity b on a like can we start b without a or b cannot start without a etc so you have to identify the activities uh, first of all you have to identify the activities then you have to identify the dependencies among the activities and then you have to sequence the activities to make a, a schedule so this is called in simple way in simple very simple language just identify the activities then identify the dependencies among the activities and then make a seek and then sequence the activities to make a schedule so this is a very common uh, steps to create a precedence diagramming method or pdm let me uh, give you a very simple example uh, start for example in the start uh, the activities are bricks prepare bricks prepare cement lay bricks these are the these are one set of activities which we, which we can do in sequence for example you can uh, prepare bricks cannot uh, start until unless bricks activity uh, will be done then in parallel we can do clear site dig tran trenches lay foundation and once the lay foundation complete we can uh, we uh, this will be dependent this will become here a uh, prepare cement after prepare cement lay bricks and then end 
so friend uh, in simple way just try to understand precedence diagramming method is basically a method to identify the activities uh, identify the dependencies among the activities and then sequence the activities to make a schedule once you identify the dependencies and make a sequence be uh, uh, between the activities so you can make a schedule so this is called the concept of precedence diagramming method friend hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and uh, thank you th uh, and please subscribe to my channel as well thank you that's all from my side thank you